Hi everyone, I'm Tri from Grinding Gear Games. Today, I would like to talk to you about the latest season coming to Path of Exile. Path of Exile, Season of the Ancestor. Season of the Ancestor arrives with a bunch of new content and exciting changes to existing content. Let's take a look. One of the coolest new items arriving in Path of Exile, Season of the Ancestor, are tattoos. These items allow you to customize your character in plenty of novel ways. Be careful though, these tattoos can only be used on the Marauder class and either its Chieftain or Berserker ascendancies. To be clear, any other class cannot use tattoos. They are also untradeable. Pick your class to start the season carefully and make sure you stock up on orbs of scouring. To remove one tattoo from your skill tree, it'll take 17 orbs of scouring. Additionally, tattoos will not be made core at the end of the season and will not make it to the Eternal Realm. Enjoy them while they last. One of the most beloved features of Path of Exile is the Atlas passive skill tree. So, in Path of Exile Season of the Ancestor, we're adding a bunch of new keystones that will fundamentally change the way the game is played. Let's inspect three of these new keystones. Extreme Archaeology completely alters your interactions with the Expedition mechanic. Instead of needing to place individual explosion markers across the battlefield, you'll only need to place one. It will unleash all the monsters with a single massive blast. See it in action now. Lucid Dreams ensures portals to Val's side areas are no longer corrupted so you can re-roll their modifiers and rarity with currency orbs. Rarely, you might be able to chance orb these areas into unique Val side areas. Quite the treat when it happens. Destructive play allows the Maven to summon between one and three more map bosses to your map boss encounters. We would like to save the surprise of this content for you to see in game yourself, so let's just do some quick math to see how impactful it really is. Say you're running a Mesa map, which usually has a single boss. If you've allocated destructive play and the Maven is witnessing the map, this means between one and three more map bosses will spawn alongside the Mesa boss. For our example, let's say two more bosses will spawn. This means you will end up fighting 11 bosses at once. Now that's an impactful keystone. Alongside this new content, there are some big changes we're making to existing content, including some updates players have been long asking for. One of the most exciting is a recoloring of the classic Cirrus fight. Players have long brought up concerns about the red-on-red -red color scheme of this epic encounter, so we've gone ahead and changed it up entirely. Take a look for yourself. The top version is the original fight. The bottom version is the new and improved fight. Do you see the difference? I'm glad you do. On top of this change, we're also making a bit of an alteration to tier zero uniques like Mageblood, Headhunter, and Calandra's Touch. We feel they are too common in the world drop table, so we're greatly increasing their rarity. However, to balance this out, we're locking every single Tier 0 unique behind Uber Cirrus's loot table. This is in addition to the uniques already locked behind Uber Cirrus. We hope you enjoy taking on the revamped Cirrus fight and getting a chance at these long-standing Tier 0 uniques from it. Happy grinding! That was just a short glimpse at everything arriving in Path of Exile, Season of the Ancestor. I would like to thank the entire social media team here at Grinding Gear Games for proofing this trailer, the developers for implementing all these changes very quickly, and, of course, myself for putting together such a banger presentation to all you players. I hope we'll meet you in-game on October 25th, 2023 for the launch of Season of the Ancestor. See you in Sanctuary!